This program executes any shell code that you give it. Can you spawn a shell and use that to read flag.txt? You can find the program in this folder on the shell server. Go ahead and copy paste that. And I'm going to switch over to putty here. I'm uh, going to use the web shell. I prefer putty. I'll paste that in. And let's take a look and see what we have here. So we have this vulnerable program. It has this group set UID. So when I run vuln, I will be running as group handy shellcode one, which is good because handy shellcode one can read the flag. I can't read the flags. If I try to read the flag right now, I'll get that permission denied error. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna use the file command to figure out what vuln is. Vuln is a 32-bit executable. All right, so and it's talking to me about shell codes. I'm gonna ask for, I'm gonna ask the internet for 32-bit Linux shell code. All right, so here's some 32-bit Linux shell code. It's 23 bytes long. So I'll copy that and I'll come over here to putty and uh, the new lines could be a little irritating, but oops. Um, so I'll put this in a file in my home folder. So I did cat greater than to redirect that tilde's my home folder, input.txt. I paste it in, I hit control D to exit. I'm gonna use an editor to edit that file. And we're gonna put those things together on a single line. That's gonna help. All right, so now I have this, but I really don't want these uh, this is like the hex representation of the characters. I actually want to get those characters into a file. So that 31 in hex is 49 in decimal. If I could look that up on an ASCII chart, I would know what letter that is. Some of those are non-printable, like the C0 and whatnot. So I'm going to actually make this into a Python command. So I'll say Python dash C, and I'll say print. And this long thing, and I'll save that. So there's the Python command I want to run. So you'll see that it prints out something that's non non human readable. It's got some special characters in it. So then I'm going to take that and I'm going to send that to the Vuln program. So thanks executing now, I went back to the prompt. So I think it might have actually run the shell, but because there was no more input, I didn't actually get to do anything. I didn't get to look at the flag. So I'll take that Python program again, and I'll redirect it to, um, put it back in that input.txt file. And now I'm gonna cat, that's gonna display the contents of the file, and I add to that this dash that says after it's finished displaying the contents of the file input.txt, it's going to wait for me to type things and then put them in the program also. And then I'll pipe that to this Vuln program. So now you'll see it's executing, it's waiting for me to type something. So I can do ls and I can see the files. I can say like, who am I? I'm still the doctor, but because this is a set group ID, executable, I'm going to have permissions to cat that flag file. And there you see my flag is handy dandy shellcode, so I can copy that and paste that over here, and I'll get myself some points.